Welcome to Solar Basics. I'm Kelsey Misbrenner, Senior Editor of Solar Power World. And I'm Kelly Pickerel, Editor-in-Chief. In about 30 years, a wave of 35.3 million panels may reach the end of their lifespans, not counting the hundreds of millions of panels that flooded the U.S. market in the last decade that may need to be disposed of sooner. With no dedicated national program or requirement to safely dispose of solar panels, some unfortunately find their way to landfills. If the system owner is green-minded and has the money, panels may get shipped to a recycling facility. Other industry players are warehousing damaged or old panels until a practical recycling program is established. And a few colleagues from consulting company Solar Cowboys have started a new recycling program in the U.S. called Recycle PV, modeled after a successful European program called PV Cycle. The Electric Power Research Institute found system owners recycle their panels in Europe because they are required to. Panel recycling in an unregulated market like the United States will only work if there is value in the product. Though there's nothing yet mandated at a national level in the U.S., there are a few states trying to get the required recycling ball moving. In July 2017, Washington became the first state to pass a solar stewardship bill, requiring manufacturers selling solar products into the state to have end-of-life recycling programs for their own products. New York passed a similar Senate bill last year that has since been passed to the state assembly. The bill would require solar panel manufacturers to collect end-of-life panels for recycling. In addition to those states, one panel manufacturing company has prioritized recycling. CADTEL Thin Film Module Manufacturer First Solar established a recycling program at the beginning of production to responsibly recycle manufacturing scrap, warranty returns, and end-of-life panels. This environmental decision also had a financial motivation. The tellurium used in the product is a finite resource. In any case, First Solar's recycling facilities attached to its manufacturing plants have the capacity to recycle two million panels globally on an annual basis. For crystalline silicon modules needing recycling now in the United States, there are a few scattered options. Various glass and electronics recyclers have taken on solar panel recycling, but usually not on dedicated lines or on a grand scale. Industry advocacy group SIA has begun organizing recycling efforts through its PV Recycling Working Group. The organization will choose preferred recycling partners that offer benefits to SIA members. Time is ticking for panel recycling. The United States has about 15 years before solar panel recycling becomes a major issue. That's plenty of time to figure out the best course of action, but also plenty of time to procrastinate. Here's hoping we set early deadlines. For more on solar panel recycling, read our story online and stay tuned for the next Solar Basics videos.